let's take a ride out and see what kind of snow they have. We got snow today. I've already been out once, but I decided to go again so I can show you guys what we got. Thank goodness for four wheel drive. It is so pretty. <sighs> and it's still coming down. <laughs> Got a little funny situation here. Oh, look at that tree. It's hanging out right over the road. I gotta go way around in here. <laughs> that happens quite a bit out here. I hope you can hear me over the heater. I gotta have it on so I can see. I mean, he not freeze, you know, because the window will frost up on me. And I don't think it's all that cold today, but it's the snow, you know, it makes it cold because my hands are frozen. <laughs> Thank goodness for heated seats. Oh, my Chrysler minivan had that when my wife was still alive and she absolutely loved it. <laughs> Harden the wipers going because I got to keep the uh, try to keep the window cleared off so you can see. <laughs> it's still coming down. I get noisier here because I got the um, gravel underneath of the snow. Woo! Slippery! You were four wheel drive, I still went fishtailing a little bit. <laughs> You know, good enough. I want it. Let's see. Do I need to zoom it in so you can see the snowflakes? But there, get past my dash. <laughs> I would say we got in some spots we got about maybe four or five inches. Absolutely beautiful, though. And I just washed my car yesterday. Ooh, it's a little deeper here. see if you're watching this is what's heading your way probably in a day or two if not already <laughs> oh. which means Minnesota and Wisconsin probably got it first because <laughs> I always get what they get a day or two later because they're right across from each other pretty much they're almost directly Cross for me. See what I'm driving through now? My van that I had wouldn't have done this very well. 
it was front wheel drive, but it sat so low to the ground that it would hit the uh, snow and stuff. As it is, I can hear some clinking up against the bottom of the bike vehicle here. My SUV, so it sits higher up the ground. Did the mail come today? Oh, sorry, I gotta answer my dad. Oh, we got somebody else coming. They're coming too. Really coming. He's going pretty fast. Turn it in there. Good. I don't have to pull off and get in that deep snow. Wow, it's deeper out here than it is back by my house. Don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Maybe I can turn my camera up a little bit so you can see the road more. There we go. still hasn't come yet. There were no tracks down there by the mailbox at all. And I know if I kind of said there, they're going to say that they came. And I know they didn't. Ooh, it's deep here. here where it gets really bad money. Usually not this time of year though. It usually happens in the spring. Oop, I can hear it hitting underneath me so it's pretty high up. And I'm trying to stay in everybody else's tracks. You go, God, just hit the window. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love snow. I'm sorry. I know most people don't, but I'm not sorry. I love it. It's gorgeous. Turn around and go back home now. I just wanted to show you. Um, there are drawbacks to everything, but I love it here in the woods. Oh, somebody else is coming. Probably one of the people I just passed. I needed something to do a video on today anyway, so we'll take you along. Let you see the snow. Oh, that's that white truck that went in the neighbor's house up the road here. I believe muzzle loading season is still going on here. I 
I think it goes on until sometime in January. And wouldn't you know, like I was saying, I just got my car washed and waxed yesterday. Just imagine what it's going to like. There's a hunter parked in the side there on state land. Oh. They used to, years ago when my sister lived out here, I come out to see her. They would be on both sides of the room. Hunters all over the place. But there's not as many hunters as there used to be. It does make the road a lot quieter too. Whew. Turn my heated seat off and get toasty buns. Ooh. I want to thank you all for going with me today. And I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and that you look for a way in this pandemic type of situation where all of our Christmases are going to be different, no doubt. But mine sure is. But find a way to make it special. To me, it's really special this year because it's my first year where, the whole year, where I went without my wife being here. And last year, and I was kind of in a daze because I just had her funeral two days before Christmas on the 22nd. So. I was kind of like in the twilight zone, sort of. And once again, I'm sorry for the wipers being on interfering with the video, but it's kind of a necessity. I'll just try to slow them down and see if it makes a difference. Cause I'm trying, just trying to run them enough to keep the window clear. And what helps is my vehicle here has electric uh, defrost in the windshield and in the rear window. So that's kind of neat. I've never had it that in the car before. I've had rear window defrost, but not front window. Because when I was cleaning the snow off, I turned it on and it was all water underneath the snow so it just kind of slid right off. I would not want to live anywhere else where I live. I love it here. struggle sometimes getting in and out and everything, but it's worth it to me. I like looking out my window and seeing trees, animals, the snow, not other people so much. I mean, in the front, I have my neighbors in the front, but I can go out the back. I want to put a deck out there. Sit out there and I don't see another person. It's so nice. Not unless a neighbor comes over and they know I'm on the back or something and they come out there, but that don't happen. I'm not in the clique, I guess, in the neighborhood, so they don't come see me or nothing, so it's kind of like fine with me. I don't bother people and I leave people alone and that's the way I want to be too.
SUV doesn't have a normal transmission and it has a CVT in it. And that means it doesn't shift. Which is kind of neat. Some say they're bad and other people say they're good, but I don't care. I like it. It's very smooth when it takes off and because there's no shifting. And the CVT has is, is got two pulleys, more or less. This is a scaled down version. Two pulleys and a steel belt that tighten up and widen out and all that to accomplish your speeds like it would be if you were shifting with a transmission with all kinds of gears in it. But I just don't have all them gears. And I like it. You can say all the bad things you want. I don't care. I won't pay attention to it. Because I like this. And Honda has a very good reputation for building reliable vehicles. I like this very much. I still, you know, would prefer a truck, but someday, maybe. <laughs> well, thank you all for going with me and taking this little journey. And remember, whatever you do in life, make a difference. <laughs> Until next time, this is Grampy Campy saying bye now. <laughs>